por dentro, muy inteligente. Y ahora viene lo bueno, el drama. Uh, introduce yourself for those who don't know you, where you're from, how long you've been pro, you know, why you're here racing in the States. My name is Lorenzo Locurcio, I'm from Valencia, Venezuela, and I've been racing pro around five, six years, uh, here in the States only four years. Then after that I went to Europe, now I'm making my way back uh, last summer here to the States. Shout out to Lorenzo Locurcio, the rider out of Venezuela for this new team, Wildcat Racing and he's in the top 10. Being from Venezuela, talk to me a little bit about why you decided to come and race the Super Motocross World Championship and what did it take for you to come here, you know, being from a country like Venezuela? For us, it's always a dream. When I was young, it seemed impossible, to be honest, because uh, we only had the internet to look at it. Only Latino that was racing professional was Ernesto Fonseca. Then after that came uh, Martin Davalos. So we had not really like reference or we didn't have a path. All of a sudden, we had some friends that were racing the Winter Amps here, and my dad decided to bring me over and see what it was like. We fell in love with it here, the racing in the States and the amateur scene. We had a lot of hard work from me and my family. We're here today racing. What was it like when your son told you that he wanted to come race here in the U.S., leaving your country and being in a whole new culture, a whole new country? It all started when we tried several sports before, more across. And he was really good in each one of them, but when we started taking him to the nationals in Venezuela, he got progressing and progressing. Then we got into international championships like Latin Americans. He started winning and winning, and then after that, the next step was the U.S. So I left my profession aside, and with my daughter, we came and support him. With my husband staying on business in Venezuela so we can make it through, because it's not for only him, it's a dream also for us that he can make his dream come true. Lorenzo, so you and I met in Millsaps training facility. We woke up, we raced. Uh, when we went to sleep, we dreamed about riding. Tell me what that was like coming from another country and uh, living in a motorhome for eight years in MTF. At the beginning, the first couple of years, I'm not gonna lie, just the simple excitement of being there, chasing my dream day in, day out. It was really good. After a couple of years, I started growing up. My sister started growing up. You know, we wanted a little more privacy. Uh, so it got tough. It's difficult, but like I said before, this is our dream, and I'll do it all over again if I need to. You raced the Supercross series, and then you went to Europe, and now you're back with your own team, Wildcat Racing. What was your inspiration for it, and what is now your vision for the team? I started here my rookie year, and I did two more years. After that, I got a really good opportunity to go travel the world and race. I wanted to come back. I miss riding Supercross. I miss racing motocross. I decided to create my own program. I met a lot of people worldwide, so I have a lot of sponsors from Europe, a lot of sponsors from Venezuela, and a lot of Americans that are helping me, supporting me with my own team. The goal for sure is to be in every main event. If I say anything else, I'll be lying. I look forward just to keep building the team up and uh, yeah, competing with the best of the best. As you know, this is our first year doing the Spanish broadcast live all 31 rounds of the Super Motocross World Championship. So what does that mean for you personally, uh, all the people back home being able to hear your name in your own native language? And what do you think uh, it is for the future of the sport? What does that mean? It's amazing to be honest, because like I said, we grew up watching it, but we never had that tool of understanding what they were saying. So now to have that tool with us, helping the sport growing and then also helping us privateers to find new sponsors, you know, because uh, it helps a lot when the sponsor can understand, can feel identified. And Lorenzo LaCurcia out of South America going to bring the Wildcat Racing Gas Gas entry in with the final transfer spot. Great to see him. This is a guy as a rookie, I remember, was up front in this race a long time ago. Now returning to Supercross and he's in the main. I think it's a really big step forward for the future and I think it's just going to keep growing and then everyone's gonna be able to enjoy it. Could you have imagined coming to the U.S. and pursuing that dream of becoming a pro super motocross racer without your family? Can you imagine what it was been like without them? Honestly, I don't think it would have happened. This sport is very up and down. There's injuries, there's good days, there are bad days. Just to have that backbone supporting you, you need that person that's gonna tell you the truth no matter what. Because, I mean, you can have many like employees or trainers and stuff like that, but at the end of the day, nothing like family.